when you watch this story, you learn a lot of facts that uh, you didn't know. Yeah. Even reading these notes, I, I learned a lot. <laughs> um, what was the thing that surprised you the most about this story that you probably didn't know? Well, one of the things that was really surprising to me was the 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 global scale of, or the international scale of the movement that Caesar led. You know, that right. not only here in, in the U.S. did he manage to create partnerships with the Filipino farm workers and get the Caucasian housewives to stop growing gra you know, grapes and, and, and also link with um, MLK and the civil rights movement and, and, and hey, bring, bring, them as, bring them in as brothers of the, in the same fight for social justice, but he also you know, went to Europe and yeah. not just to the UK. In the movie, he goes to the UK, but I, in real life, he traveled to several other countries to see, to to create partnerships between, you know, the farm workers and the union workers mm. in across oceans to and relate it to the issues that were happening in California. And so, you know, Caesar knew that this was not about Mexican farm workers. This was about social justice and that applied all over the world. Carrying on one of the characters uh, is a lot of responsibility because you're telling a, a, a true story. Mm -hmm. um, it, what is it that you wanted to communicate with your character yeah. the most? What, what was that responsibility that you felt? I got to meet Helen and that wow. was really um, an That's invaluable cool. experience for me. I mean, I was so inspired by her just personally, but having to create this character and play her, it it helped me so much to be in her presence and experience her depth and her presence and that her strength, you know, I'd read and learned about all these things that she'd done. And then when you're in her presence, you realize, you know, this is a woman whose strength comes from a very inner calm and a stillness. And, and that when she was working in the fields, she was working in the fields when she was protesting. She was protesting when she was cooking to feed her family and mm -hmm. member unions, that's what she was doing. When she was running the credit union, that's what she was doing. And this is a woman with barely any education who right. found it in her to, um, to fulfill all these roles right. and to just do what needed to be done, whether that was raising the kids or whether that was going out and getting arrested. <laughs> right. She did what needed to be done. John Malkovich and his uh, production company, Mr. Mudd, are part of this film. Well, how was the dynamic uh, filming with him? Well, I didn't get to do any scenes A with lot. John yeah, Malkovich. Yeah, but um, I was around for yes. some of the filming and, you know, it was wonderful. I would, I, I'm so moved by how um, John was able to bring humanity even to those roles, you know, right. to try right. and understand because there was fear there. Right. It wasn't that they were evil. Yeah, that you know that that doesn't really serve anyone to depict people as evil and bad because exactly. we're all human and we all have our justifications and our reasons and I think that he did an amazing job humanizing that side as well. Made in Hollywood.